In question 8 of this series, where we find the derivative by the delta method, we have another function, and this time it is a quadratic, where we have the a, b, and c term present. Let's go ahead and figure this out. The first thing that I want to do is substitute this expression, x plus delta x, everywhere where I see an x. And that will serve as this part of our limit. So I have x plus delta x, and I'm raising that to the power of 2. So I substituted x plus delta x into here, plus 3 bracket x plus delta x. I substituted this into there, minus 2 over 3. Now our limit is as delta x approaches 0. And for this part, we simply subtract our function. So minus, and then since we have three terms here, we want to place it in parentheses x squared plus 3x minus 2 over 3, all over delta x. So this is the limit that we want to take, but we can't take the limit as delta x approaches 0 now because then we'll have a 0 in the denominator, and that's not allowed. What I want to do is expand this part, so I'll multiply this negative into these three terms, just like that, and I want to expand this part. So I'll show you how to expand that right here. It won't be part of our limit, so I want to do it on the side. If I expand this, this is the same thing as x plus delta x. x plus delta x. So I have x times x, that's x squared, x times delta x, that's x delta x, again, plus x delta x, and finally, this, times that, which is delta x squared. I will replace this expression with that one. But before I do that, remember these two are like terms, so I'll write down x squared. These two become 2x delta x plus delta x squared. So now I'll replace that into there, and here's what happens. We have x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared. And now this part, I'll expand it. So I'll have 3x plus 3 delta x. So 3x plus 3 delta x minus 2 over 3. We're right here right now. And after expanding this part, we have minus x squared minus 3x and plus 2 over 3. So that is the numerator of our limit, all over delta x. So if I substitute 0 into delta x right now, I still get 0 in the denominator. So we still have some more algebraic manipulation. And we can start to cancel things out. Watch this. This term and this term can cancel out. This term and this term also go away. We have negative 2 over 3 and positive 2 over 3. So we've pretty much cleaned this up really well. We're left with delta x squared plus 2x delta x plus 3 delta x over the only term at the bottom. Moving forward, we still can't place 0 into delta x unless, unless we factor out at the top at delta x because each of these three terms has one. So this is delta x, and I'll try to make some more room here, plus 2x plus 3 over delta x. Remember, we haven't officially taken the limit yet. So this part and this part will cancel out, and our limit expression should look like this. Limit as delta x approaches 0 we only have the top part to worry about. The bottom is gone. Let me rewrite this for clarity. Setting delta x equal to 0 makes this go away. We've taken our limit, and our derivative is 2x plus 3. And there you have it. Another example on how to use the delta method to find the derivative. If you have any questions, please use our website listed in the description below. Thanks for watching.